Pop the inside. Woo! Just got my EA documents part to take away. <laughs> so I'm all dressed and ready for the party this evening. There we are, so that's Zara's photo book all wrapped. Look who's home! Hello! How are we all doing? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to another weekend festive vlog. I'm also very excited because this video is sponsored by Popsa. I'm very excited to be working with them. They are a fantastic photo book printing service. And if you click the link in the description box, there's a 30% discount code that you guys can get this Christmas and you can purchase a photo book for your loved ones, friends and family. It's amazing. I'm going to get into more detail a bit later in the video, but I thought I'd outline that now if you want to place an order. Today is a Saturday and Zara's actually away for the weekend. She's been in a lovely retreat where she actually saw her nana and granddad yesterday. She hasn't seen them in months, so she had like a little mini pre-Christmas. So it's just been me and Maggie this morning, hasn't it? Well, the whole weekend. Would you like to say hello to the vlog? Oh my goodness, Maggie, you are getting so big. Look how big you're getting. Say hello to everyone in the vlog. Oh my, God. look, she's she's taller than me on her back legs now. <laughs> Would you like to sit here? Because guess what? It's a very exciting morning, every morning, because you've got your advent calendar. Should we get your advent calendar? So we got this <laughs> from Waitrose and it's a scrumples, good inside and out. Happy holidays calendar. So today is December 4th, so we need to find number four, don't we, Max? Where is it? There it is. Look, let's, let's open the door. There we go. Let's pop the inside. Woo! Maggie! There we are, my love. Paw. Paw. Good girl. Good girl. And again, paw. Paw. Good girl. Oh, you are so clever. And you're getting so big. Me and Maggie are going to have a day out together, aren't we? We're gonna have a daughter dad day out. <laughs> and we're just gonna walk along Chelsea Embankment and obviously Maggie's gonna stretch her legs. But before we do that, I thought I'd talk to you about Popsa, as I said at the start of the video. So, so Popsa are a brilliant photo book printing service. If you're anything like me and you love a sentimental gift, then this is gonna be a perfect, perfect gift for you to give this Christmas season. So I ordered this photo book. It came in a gorgeous Christmas gift box, which just, you know, makes it feel extra looks. And this is the book. I'm gonna talk about the service in just a second. But I'm gonna be gifting this to Zara. As I said, she's away this weekend. She comes back tomorrow. So I'm gonna wrap this up for her. We've said we're not gonna do Christmas gifts this year just because obviously we are saving for the house and there's nothing that we both need. However, I thought this would be, oh, I thought this would be such a lovely gift. So this is what I'm gonna to give to Zara. So I made this on the Popsa app and it was so, so easy to download and create. It took me about five minutes, which is perfect. If you're struggling for time, this Christmas is a busy time of year. So you can create any photo book, calendar, photo box, or even a Christmas ornament on Popsa. So the whole host of options. However, I did a classic photo book and I'm so impressed with the quality. So on the front is me, Maggie and Zara, and I've named it Maggie's Memories 2021, her little her paws will stay on our heart and I just thought that was so nice so inside I printed essentially all of Maggie's memories how nice this was the day that we met Maggie when um, she was at our family home this was the first evening with her and this is <laughs> this is Ivy our family dog at home look how small she was there the quality in this book is absolutely amazing Look how small she was, look at you now. You can choose whether you want the photos to be in a, in a certain order. On the app, it's so easy to do. They actually generate a layout for you. So you can simply just click and insert the photos that you'd like. You can choose soft cover or hard cover. Express delivery is also available if you are leaving at last minute. I'll leave all of the details of the last day you can order in the description box. And I also love as well the Popsy use 100% biodegradable paper as well, which is fab. <laughs> Maggie, this is you. Do you recognize yourself? I honestly think Zara is going to love this. This is when we were outside Buckingham Palace. This is like a little movie day that we had when we built a den. I just think it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas idea. And as I said, there is a 30% off discount code in the description box that you guys can use 
to get 30% off your order. So if you are struggling for a Christmas gift idea this Christmas, I honestly think a photo book is such a lovely idea. It's sentimental, you can keep them for years and the quality of pop set is fantastic. So use the discount code down below and let me know if you placed an order because I would love to hear what photos you popped inside. So I'm actually starting this vlog a bit later in the day and um, because this morning I popped out to the flower market and to do a grocery shop. So I'll insert that footage now. Wait. Come on then. Good morning everyone, hello. It's gonna be quite a, um, a lovely festive weekend vlog I've got in store for you. Well, quite early this morning. Today's a Saturday. I'm currently in Battersea. I'm going back to New Covent Garden Flower Market for the third time this season. <laughs> Madness, I know, basically, you and I, every single Christmas, film Christmas videos together. So we had a meeting this week about what we wanted to film. So I suggested that we could do some floral arrangements, so some festive flowers. And what better place, sorry if it's really loud, I'm on Battersea Main Road. Um, I thought what better place to get flowers than New Covent Garden Flower Market, because they have a fantastic selection. So it's 8 a.m., I've just drove down. This morning I'm gonna go and grab some flowers I don't need a lot I just need I'd say like a good variety because I really want it to look special um, and we're gonna be filming it in Ewan's new loft which is lovely so um, yeah I'm walking there now so I picked up some red berries and some just like standard green um, I guess you could start green foliage. That's the good base. I'm trying to look for some eucalyptus. And Ewan had some red roses, so we're going to use those too. Just secured a huge bunch of eucalyptus for six pounds. And now I'm looking to see if there's any more flowers that I can add that'll give it like a festive touch, maybe some red ones. I love these little mini Christmas trees as well. They're so nice. It'd be great if you didn't have a big space just to decorate. I love those. And then they've got the really, really diddy Christmas trees underneath. This is where we got our Christmas tree from. I'm really, really happy with them. They're called the Evergreen Christmas Tree Sellers and we got such a good price. As you can see, they've got some really, really big trees. Some of them are like nine, 10 foot. So I'm just in Waitrose and they have all of their Christmas stuff out. I know I've recently been given a lot of this. I don't need any of this, but this looks like these salted butterscotch mallows, mince pie fudge. How good does that look? If you guys have never tried this, pan forte is delicious. It's such a good, it's like an Italian cake. It's just gorgeous, really, really nice. My auntie recently tried this, um, Cremant de Bourgogne, um, it's a Blanc de Blanc. It's on special for 10.99, so I'm gonna get a bottle to try it. This is actually some of the food that we tried when we went on the Waitrose trip. However, some of this is new, cheese and onion soufflettes. These look gorgeous. What are these? 12 mac and cheese cups. Oh my goodness. They've got all kinds of Christmas goodies. Bacon, camembert. Oh my good lord, wow. Just got this huge cauliflower cheese. I would usually make it, however, I am shooting this as part of a um, job with Waitrose on Instagram. I'm not being paid. This is not an ad to do this on here. Um, I just thought I'd show you this because it looks delicious. It's basically just to showcase the Waitrose Christmas range, so that's coming on with me. Okay, so that's the food shop all done. Very successful. <laughs> Just need to pack all this in the boot. Right, that was successful. Quick sanitize the hands and get back to Maggie Moo. So I'm back from Waitrose. I thought I'd show you everything that we got. Not a lot, but um, some lovely bits, absolutely. Um, so yeah, as I showed you, I got a bottle of the Cremant de Bourgogne, 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 I think that's how you say it, and um, the Blanc de Blanc, my auntie recommended it, she's got a good taste in wine, so I trust her judgment, absolutely, got some Brussels sprouts, a lovely storm baked baguette to have with this uh, Waitrose bacon camembert with cranberry and sour cherry and nuts, which just looks like mouthwateringly good. Obviously got the classic veggies to make a roast, parsnips, carrots, um, a sack of spuds. I went for British Red King Edward potatoes because they're good for roasting. Um, I picked up some of the Waitrose Plant Life Mushroom Elite sausages. Uh, other things, just some Kerrygold butter, love this butter, rosemary. Some milk, because we're running low, red cabbage, cider vinegar to braise the cabbage. Um, I got these because I'm going to a Christmas party this evening at one of my friend Sam's. So I got some cheese and onion souffles to take. Picked up a copy of the Waitrose Weekender. 
Um, I got some of the cauliflower cheese because it's just looked very, very nice. Oh, Maggie! I got you something as well. Maggie, what's this, darling? Do excuse the laundry that's just drying behind. Would you like one, my love? Oh, yes. Okay, let's give you one. Oh! Oh! Seal of approval from Mags as well. So we made it to Battersea Park and Maggie just nearly lost her ball in the lake. <laughs> I mean, she does know how to swim, but that wouldn't have been interesting, would it? <laughs> Come on. Fetch is genuinely Maggie's favorite game. She is obsessed. Look, watch. Good girl. <laughs> and then she just comes running back every time. <laughs> she just met a gorgeous black Labrador who's the same age as her, coming up to seven months, and also a yellow, like golden Labrador, similar to Ivy at our family home, who was two, which is the same age as Ivy. Crazy, absolutely crazy. And of course, you loved them, didn't you, little one? <laughs> she was just running around. Honestly, I think Labradors can like identify their own and they just find so much joy in it. We walk past this gorgeous floristry shop in Chelsea. Oh my goodness. I think that's one of the most pretty reeds I've ever seen. Absolutely stunning. It's called Lavender Green if anyone would like to check it out. And this is the main window display. Look how beautiful this is. Wow. It's probably one of the most impressive I've seen in London. Look at the train going around. Wow. Came back to Maggie's favourite coffee shop. <laughs> this is the Love My Human coffee shop that we came to before. I'm gonna get a coffee to take away. Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. Just got Maggie a doggy mince pie to take away. <laughs> Come on. So I just got back, and time is 20 to 4. I just checked my health um, like app on the on my phone, and it said we've walked 20. Nearly 21,000 steps, which is quite the journey. And Maggie is behind me, fully snoozing. She's had a yeah, she's had a fair share of steps today. I'm just making myself some late lunch. I'm having a grilled cheese because comfort food. <laughs> and that is a tactical lunch because I'm heading to Sam's, my friend's Christmas party this evening. And obviously, if we're going to have a little bit of alcohol, I need to line my stomach with carbs and cheese. I know I have quite a few American viewers, and grilled cheese is your thing. But trust, my grilled cheese, I'm not just saying it, is pretty darn good like this. Oh, mmm. Mmm. So I'm all dressed and ready for the party this evening. This is my outfit that I've gone for. You may recognize this jacket. This is what I wore to present the Blogosphere Awards back in September. <laughs> God, it feels like yesterday. Um, yeah, so this is from ASOS. It's a four suede, like velvet burgundy jacket. I've gone for a black roll neck because I love them and they keep me very warm. And then the trousers are a checked print. It's quite hard to see it on camera but they're a double pleated check print trouser from River Island in a green colour. And then I just have some loafers on the bottom. So yeah, this is the outfit. Very festive. So I'm just going to pack up my bag and then head there. I'm not sure if I'll take this camera but I'll take my phone so I can get some clips because Sam has apparently decorated the house very Christmassy, and if I know Sam, he does decor very well, so I'll film some bits and bobs if I can. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Oh, last night was so much fun. I, I felt like it was very, very lovely to just see some familiar faces and just get in the real Christmas spirit. This is... This is what I love about Christmas. The, the actual Christmas day is lovely, but I just much prefer the lead up to it, you know, seeing friends and just having like a really lovely time. Um, and it was gorgeous, but I'm up fairly early this morning. Maggie is currently having a nap. <laughs> She's just snoozing <laughs> in her bed. Not much on the agenda today at all, other than cooking a Friendsmas dinner um, this afternoon slash evening. Zara is driving home today. She's gonna come back to London around half past four, so going to be lovely. What I think I might do is just give the flat a bit of a clean. Um, we've Obviously we just keep on top of it naturally but I feel like I really want to do like quite a, a, a deep clean. Um, just give everything a dust, bit of a bit of a once over, do some laundry, that kind of thing. So 
I've just had a quick blitz of the flat. I've just like, you know, dusted things, hoovered, taken the bins out, cleans the surfaces. It just makes you feel good. Like, I feel like the flat just needed a little bit of a spruce up and it's looking very good. Zara's actually on her way home, so I need to wrap the photo book up. So I'm gonna wrap that up now, pop that under the tree, and then I'm gonna get started with um, dinner prep. So that's all done. Walk Maggie, and then, yeah, it'll be time to have some dinner. So that's Zara's photo book all wrapped. I'm just gonna pop that under the tree for when she comes home. Okay, so I just got back from walking Maggie. It gets dark so quick, it's not even four o'clock. It's crazy. Zara's about an hour away um, from London, so I thought because I've got all of the prep done in the kitchen, I would set the table. I'm not gonna go for something too extravagant because I just feel like this is just all about the food and not about the tablescape this time around, but that video is coming super soon. So I'm gonna set the table now. Zara was visiting family and also did a little um, hotel getaway. The family she's visiting is a nana and granddad, and her nana makes some very, very good pickled onions. I, I love a pickled onion. She's been very kind and given me a jar. So I'm gonna try it on camera. I feel like pickled onions aren't gonna be your thing, I'm not gonna lie, sis. She calls them the Munchies pickled onions. Look how nice they look. You're not a fan of pickled onions, are you? No, I like the smell of them. Oh, that smells. Oh. oh. It's the crunch. Oh, it makes me ill. Ugh. A good pickled onions. Very good pickled onions. Mm. They were nervous they wouldn't be as good this year. Why? But I don't know. I'm not a pickled onion connoisseur. Well, they maybe they haven't been. Goodness, sir. Oh, but I obviously have been. Maybe she hasn't. Um, they maybe they haven't like left them long enough. Because like, the longer you leave them, the more pickled they get, I guess. Right? Do you want to open your present? Which one? Should we open the one that Nana and I and Gwenda really Yeah. Have? We've also got this to Zara and Luke. Please open together before Christmas all of our love, Mr. and Mrs. Santa. Oh. <laughs> Maggie, you take one side. Oh, Maggie, too. would you like to help? Stop it. Oh, oh no. Way. What is it, Max? Oh Not for my you. God. Festive tea towels. I love this. And look, this is what I mean. It's like everything. Has they, the, like, they put like little Santa hats on to hide the price. Oh my god, that's then, so cool. I love those. And a little bottle stop. Oh, that that's appealing, isn't it? Oh my goodness. For a red wine. Bottle stop. So, so you guys saw that I wrapped this up for Zara and um, she doesn't have any idea what it is, but this is the gift that features you. That's all I'm saying. There we go. Oh, stop I did say in the vlog, we're not doing presents this year just because we're trying to save as much as we can and run a budget, so. I've bought you some bits. What? <laughs> I'm joking, but. Oh my you god. Know when, you know when someone does that, it's like we're not doing presents. Like... But Are I bought you something. No, I was I like, oh, sorry, no, we're not. We're no, not. I did see some bits for you over the weekend, and I was like, that boy has enough. Yeah, but well, this is this is something sentimental. How oh pretty. my gosh, that is actually very nice. I am. Right here you go. Oh, lovely wrapping. Oh, is this a book? Is it? Or maybe not. Oh, it is. It's yeah. not. It's in a gift box. Isn't that fancy? This is how bad I am on Christmas Day. Oh, what, what is, is it? it? <laughs> Oh, Maggie memories. Her paws will stay on our heart. Isn't that lovely? Like, can't I get in it? Tell me to open it for. Oh, Isn't this the cutest thing? I forgot that we went out for a little break. Yeah. Maggie, I know. it's us. Oh my god, this is the cutest. Look how small you were. Thing. I got a ah! it arrived. I know your first trip to Petzl Hall. Oh my god. Like, how small, like look how small you were there Maggie, the you're tiny. I, also I like how this is like a series of it's, her and her, this was a cat harness. I know, Maggie you used to have to be in a cat harness because you were too small. Oh. I know, bumps. I know. Isn't it so cute, your first trip to Brighton? Maggie it's you darling, and a little big jumper. Mm. I know. Do you like it? I don't like it. I love it. Oh, I'm doing it. a Simon Cowell. <laughs> this is honestly it's cute, isn't it? the cutest thing. And I think with things like this as well, mm -hmm. like you could do one every year. Yeah, well that's the thing. Like obviously it's just Maggie's first memories with us, but we can do them seasonally. We could do them every every 
four months. You know? I Three actually months. love this. This is such a good idea. And like for it? grandparents, although I don't know if they'd want me to give them a book of Maggie. Could you imagine? I mean, why not? I love this, Luke. It's Thank cute, you so I will, um, much. Yeah. Jason, who's supposed to come around, sadly can't make it anymore. Um, so it's just us this evening, but that's fine. Just the two, two of us, us and plus Maggie. four paws. <laughs> Okay, so roast dinner update. Everything is coming along swimmingly. We've got the carrots and parsnips, roasted potatoes, stuff and balls, and braised red cabbage. So that's all cooked. It just needs to be heated through when we're ready to serve. And then in the oven, I've just got some bread toasting. I've got the cauliflower cheese, sprouts, and camembert. So we're just sitting down to eat the dinner. I am covered the table in food. I. Yeah, I mean, I've catered for three, but I've definitely catered for like 12. <laughs> so we're just gonna dig in. Also, the um, sparkling, what was it, like a, um, Cremont, Cremont does something. I'll leave it like down below, it's delish. <laughs> Bogon, we're gonna dig in. This is future Luke ending this vlog because we had so much food last night that we both went to bed immediately after we finished dinner because we were so full. We watched a bit of a Christmas film and we were just wiped out. So I really hope you've enjoyed this weekend vlog. I have honestly had so, so many lovely comments from you guys saying that you're enjoying Vlogmas, which fills my heart with joy. Don't forget as well that there is a discount code for 30% off your Popsa purchase as well if you want to get a Christmas book in time for your loved ones this Christmas. But thank you so much for watching. Big love as always and a huge thank you to Popsa for sponsoring this vlog. I'll catch you all very soon in a future festive video. Bye for now.